When the morning sun does rise again And shadows sweep from the daylight's grace Think of the times we stood together In fields where hope could find its place Come and join Hello, David here again. Uh, we're here with a new airplane that I've been thinking about for just a little while. Um, I've flown a lot of Delta Wings, as you may know, with the Stingray and a lot of the other configurations around that. And of course, I want something that'll do FPV. I've done a couple of twins before, but I, I haven't really done a true Delta Twin. I'm calling this right now the D2 or the Delta Twin. As you can see, a regular, pretty regular Delta stubbed the wing just a little bit but also with a canopy place for the, the camera that allows an open uh, view and, and a pan. With the Stingray, I'm running with a set camera, which is really nice for understanding the horizon, the pitch of the plane. It's part of the piloting. You don't really want the camera moving around. Um, in this, I have it on a switch, so it'll lock in, straight heading. When I'm up in the air, I can flip a switch from the rudder channel, turns off the rudder, and it puts the pan on the left stick. And I'll show that a little bit here. The normal rudder is right here on your yaw stick, and you can see that move together. When I'm in the air and when I'm after I've taken off, don't need the rudder and I want to go on some stable flight, I can flip the switch here to change from rudder to camera. Now when I do the yaw, I can look left, I look, look right, and it no longer will do the rudder. And then when I'm getting ready to land or I want to do some rudder movement, I flip that back. It locks the camera straight and then goes back to the rudder here. This will be a maiden flight. I haven't flown this configuration yet. I've got kind of an interesting a landing gear. I used wire this time instead of a, a plate style. We have a large hatch here. Lots of space. If you haven't seen, um, the, the fuselage is quite big. And I've got a lot of air, area in here Sorry, it is a little bit of a bird's nest in there, but I've got plenty of room. I've got a little vent to help uh, release some of the air pressure because the, I have the DJI Vista unit right here behind the camera. It is in the body of the plane, but lots of ventilation. The motor mounts are 3D printed, currently for the standard quad size. This is really designed for a five inch style quadcopter motor. These are the Emax motors, the 2306, 2400 KV. And I'll put a link down there if you're interested in trying those. I'm gonna give it a try. I know they're a pretty hot motor. The other thing, the antenna for the uh, Vista unit is inside. It's really unobstructed. There's just foam around it, so it's not really a big deal, but it ends up being right there with the hatches. The bottom plate on this is TPU and it has little latches that kind of latch over and hold the landing gear. I think that's going to give it a little bit of spring, but also you can't break TPU. If you take a piece of that TPU, try to break it in your hand, you just can't. And so it's super strong. And that's one of the reasons I went with that. And on the inside, there's a hard PLA 3D printed plate that holds the other side. So it's sandwiched in between. Currently mounted all the servos out here. So easy access, easy to, to manage those, adjust if needed. It'd be really easy to slide them inside, underneath, underneath the wing, hide them if you want. You really put them wherever you want. I personally like to have the Elevons with a pull for the up instead of a push. I think they work better that way. With the twin motor, I also did put them on their own channels so that you can do differential thrust. I do have that joined with the rudder channel. So when I'm in the air and the rudder is on, I can use differential thrust. It'll be interesting. I, I wanna see if we can get this thing to flat spin. Let's do some ground testing. So I steer it with the left stick and you can see the differential is working but it, it is steering by the wheel. <laughs> and I think I have it fed for about 50% input into those motors of that yaw. I may back that, back, back that down a little bit. That looks really good.
So I haven't flown this. I am a little bit nervous, but, and it is a little windier than I'd hope, but we're gonna send it. Wish us luck. This is what it's all about, guys. This is why we, we do this. It's that maiden flight. You don't know what's gonna happen, the excitement, the adrenaline rush. You've put all your effort into design, your thoughts, and this is where it comes together. I typically don't fly maiden flights with camera gear on it. Maybe that'll be a mistake, we'll have to see. But we will go ahead and send it. Test, this is left, right, uppy, downy. I tested CG before, but I just wanna double check it. Typically on a, a wing like this, it's about 25% back. My guess is it's right here where the KF-4 airfoil ends. And that's about right where we have it. I think we're right on. What's nice is the battery ended up right on the center of, of the gravity. It's right on the end of there. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, that thing wanted to hop into the air. Wow, I've got it under half throttle. Wow. This is gonna be great. I think the CG's okay. It might be a tail, tad tail heavy. I might be able to, let's do a roll here. Okay, way slower than I thought. I might have a little bit of too much up trim on it right now. I wonder if I need to move. The, I'm going to move the battery a hair forward. Let me land it. This is going to be good. I'm excited. All right, here we go. We're bringing it in. First landing here. <laughs> All right. So typically on a first flight with um, a wing or a delta, you give it a little bit of recurve on the on the elevons, you have a lot of up trim. I'm gonna push a little bit of that out and I'm gonna move the battery a hair forward. Let's give it another test flight here. I'm really kind of pleased on the ground, ground handling. I think it's great. All right, here we go. Nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think we got it. Yeah, this feels really good. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, this is it. Let's get the FPV gear on. We just got done with the maiden flight. I flew it line of sight. Fantastic, I'm happy with it. One of the cool things about doing a, a twin motor is you have the motors counter rotating. And in this case, I have them rotating towards the top of the canopy and on inward. The cool thing about that is you do not experience any torque momentum by the counter rotating. The, the torque of these motors is counterbalanced by the counter rotating. Let's get the FPV gear on and we'll send it. Here we go. <laughs> okay, I can look left now. There we go. Oh, yeah. So I switched over from the rudder channel to the pan. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. I need to remember that I'm flying with a standard range receiver. So I don't outfly my range here. All right. Let's take it up there. We'll try to do some flat spins and okay. other things. Hopefully the battery won't come loose. Um, just Velcro held. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry, okay. I'm slowing it down. Let's see what a stall will do here. Six minutes. Powered off. Pulling back. Pulling back. Okay, a little bit of stall right there. Immediately recovered though. Okay, I'm going to put the rudder channel back on 
let's get this in a flat spin. Right there, is that flat? <laughs> well, that made me dizzy, whoa. I hope you got that up there. Oh yeah, yeah, we're recording. Let's try it again. Oh, yeah, immediately comes right out, that's great. Okay, it's back on the pan camera pan. You can see the right motor, left motor. We'll do a low flyby, maybe a touch and go here. So this is the same battery I was flying with the test flights line of sight, so I gotta keep in mind my pack. Let's do a touch and go here. There we go. Uh, it is amazing to be able to pan around. You get used to it, and uh, flipping between rudder and then to the pan is, it's amazing to be able to just take, look, look into a turn. Um, so I am going to land this. We're going to try another battery. I am super happy with this design. Okay, I'm landing right here. I've got the pan off, and it is on rudder for rudder control. Nice. All right. <laughs> Love it. So just some final thoughts uh, before we wrap up the video. I want to give my uh, opinions on the wing. I'm super happy with it. There will be some minor changes I'm going to make to the files. Just some personal preferences. The nose got a little tight. The other thing is, is this is three sheets of foam. Three full sheets. And it's as big as you can make it for the wing using one sheet of foam without having it split. Uh, the other thing is this is a KF4 airfoil similar to what is used on the Stingray. It creates a little bit of a vortex behind the ledge that actually makes the, the air that flows over it a little smoother and reduces the surface uh, drag, makes it a little smoother in the air. I'm super pleased with the, the way the rudder works, the camera mount, be able to look around in a delta wing. I can see the motors. The landing gear, I'm very pleased with how that's turned out. Both the tail wheel, the bolt-on wire, bent wire. There's also a vent back here to vent the airflow that cools the air on the Vista unit. I plan on doing a build video. I will post up a, video, a short video when I uh, do make the STL files and the plans available on printables.com. If you're still watching and enjoying this type of content, consider liking and subscribing to the video. It's free I and mean, it helps me out. Uh, makes the videos a little bit more visible to the public. If you uh, want to see more content like this, go check out my other videos. I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, get out there and fly. And thanks for watching. The morning sun does rise again And shadows leave from the daylight's grace Think of the times we stood together In fields where hope could find its Well, hello.